Welcome back to another educational video brought to you by AGD TV. Today we're going to be talking about the Woundfo Fine Care Progesterone Machine. Uh, everything you see on the table today is everything that you can get into a bundle, minus a few things. I know in the bundle you get the Woundfo, you get the Centrifuge, and you get the five card slot holder that um, are required when you're running the test. So today we're going to just talk about what it takes to run the test, some of the pieces that come with it and what they're called. One of the major things that you don't want to lose, you want to make sure that you have, is this the quality control chip. This is what you use before you uh, run any tests. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. It looks very similar to the, um, the test strips. You don't want to lose this because this thing is how you know that your machine is all calibrated and running normally. So you'll put this into the slot. You'll pick QC and you'll start. It only takes about a few seconds just to make sure the machine is all set. And uh, once it's all set, it'll tell you everything came back normal. So we'll just take a few seconds to make sure that the machine is running normally. The cartridge goes in and out of the machine while it's doing the QC uh, scan. So don't get, don't get frustrated or think that your machine is broken because it does go in and out while it's doing that uh, quality control test. The machine is all good. Everything is normal. So you'll take that out and put it right back into the sealed bag because you want to make sure that stays clean so that nothing um, ruins that slot so that you can't do your uh, QCs because it's very important you make sure this machine is always running normally. After that, you'll go over to test and you'll proceed to uh, say that you want to test serum and plasma. It has whole blood option as well, but we always do the serum and plasma because for us, we think that having the serum and the plasma being tested will make a much more accurate result for your PG test. So you're going to go ahead on and click serum and plasma thing. In this case, we'll be testing a dog and then you'll proceed to go on to detailed information. Over here, what I like to do with the detailed information is I like putting the pet's name. I like putting the owner's first and last name. And I also like putting um, who's running the test, AGB services, right? One of the reasons I do those things, because if you lose your, excuse me, if you lose your, um, the, sheet, the slip that I give you, I can go back and print this at any time. This machine can store um, over a thousand tests and you can always go back and print the test results to a previous test. So you want to make sure that you put the pet's name, the owner's name, and you're going to go ahead on hit yes to save. And after that, this machine is almost ready to run a test. Anytime you order um, test kits for this, it comes in a box that comes with 10 of these, which is the actual Wanfo test strips. You want to make sure that these are sealed. The great thing about the Woundfo is that these do not have to be in a refrigerator. You can leave them at room temperature and they can last up to uh, a year or two. Every test box comes with a chip. They get, an also good thing about this machine is that it the machine itself doesn't have to be manually calibrated. The chips that comes in every box is calibrated for you. So you want to stick this into the machine and read the chip. So once you get the chip into the machine, you're going to hit read chip. When the machine reads the chip, it actually calibrates to the box of tests that you got with that chip. Every box comes with a chip. So you don't want to, you don't want to take your, uh, all your tests, take them out and put them in a storage because you want to make sure the test that comes with that chip stays with that chip because it's only calibrated to that chip. So after you're done running the 10 tests that comes with that chip, you can discard the chip because every box comes with its own, its own chip. It also comes with pipettes tips. You're going to use these tips to draw 75 um, ULs of serum to mix with the buffer. The test box also comes with buffers. This is what you use to mix the serum with. You have to use the buffer to mix the serum with so that the test can properly calibrate and read it. We'll be demonstrating all these things for you in just a few seconds, but I'm just going over the things that come in the box. A few other things you're going to need to run this progesterone test is a centrifuge, uh, a mixivoxer, and a 75 UL pipette. I, pr I prefer this over the, I prefer this pipette over the one that comes with it or the mechanical one. There is a mechanical one that does everything for you uh, when you push in the buttons, but I, I, I prefer this one. The one that comes with this is a little smaller. It's not as nice in grips. I like this one because it has the little finger hold, so you're able to control the pipette a lot better. It's very important that when you're using this pipette that you never turn it to the side or upside down because you want to make sure that the things that are in the uh, pipette tips is not mixing around. Okay, now that we have our progesterone machine ready, 
We have our machine calibrated. We have our chip read already. We put in the owner and dog's information. We are now ready to draw some blood and I'll be back in a second. We now have blood. You need about one cc of blood to get the serum, the amount of serum you need to run a progesterone test. We're now going to spin this blood down to get serum. Make sure that you have at least one cc, another centrifuge tube of water in your centrifuge to counterweight the blood that you're about to spin to make sure that it doesn't make any loud noise or damages your centrifuge. We're going to use one of these clocks that's, that also comes in the package from Moonfo to set about five minutes for the blood to spin. We'll start spinning the blood and start our clock at the same time. While that's spinning, what you really want, why you really want to spin this down is because the serum helps you get a more accurate reading of the progesterone levels inside your dog's blood. It's okay to run progesterone tests after you also bred your dog if you want to just see if you caught her at the right time. When you're running these tests, you have to also watch for progesterone pauses. This is also a sheet that comes in the box when you order uh, test kits. This sheet is the progesterone timing chart. Even on this sheet, it tells you, watch for ovulation pauses. What that means is your dog can pre uh, present that she's ovulating. Ovulation on the machine is between a six and a 10. So what happens is if you have an ovulation pause, your dog can go to a seven, right? And maybe a day or two later, she'll still stay at a seven. So you wanna watch for the ovulation pause because you wanna make sure she completely ovulates before breeding, meaning that she goes from ovulation to a little bit above ovulation, which is egg maturity. So while I'm spinning the blood, I'm gonna take out a buffer and put that in the buffer holder. Make sure that that's a brand new buffer. So that way you don't get anything mixed. If you run multiple tests, you wanna mix things up. What I like to do uh, with the buffer is to put it in a, a corresponding spot to the blood holder. So that way I know that buffer goes with that blood holder. I also get me a brand new test strip to get, place it over there right next to the wound flow. Make sure that that's all ready to go when it's time to go. Now that my blood is done being spent down, I'm gonna take it out. Sometimes it gets a little cloudy, it looks still red. For the most part, this will come out very, very clear. So I'm gonna take my uh, 75 UL pipette. Like I said, in every box, you get a uh, bunch of pipette tips. But what I like to use is my pipette tip holder. I'll grab a pipette tip. Sometimes when it's very hard to see the clear part, I'll hold it up to the light just to make sure I get a clean pull because you wanna make sure that you don't get any of the blood in there. The pipe bed itself has two clicks. You don't wanna push down all the way to the second click to pull up the plasma. You wanna go down to the first click and then let it pull up. It'll pull up the 75 ULs. You'll then take a buffer, you'll push this serum into the buffer all the way down to the first click then down to the second click and you can get rid of this to mix the buffer and the serum some people like to go you'll see this a lot but to prevent human error i went and got a mix evoxer to make sure that i have a, an even mixture every progesterone test that i run and i like to do the mix evoxer for about seven seconds so i'll go one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, done. Now that the buffer is ready, I have a brand new test strip ready to be used. Take that out a few minutes before you're ready to use it. You can stick it right here on the wound fold slot holder. I'll take a brand new pipette tip and I'll draw out another 75 ULs from the buffer mixed with the plasma. Again, you'll go down to the first click, hold, put in, draw the serum and plasma up, put it on the test strip. You'll push down to the first click, down to the second click. It's completed in there. You'll take your test strip, stick it in the slot. This machine has two options. You can run a quick test or you can run a standard test. The standard test takes about 15 minutes for the uh, plasma to incubate in here, and then seconds after the incubation, your results will print out. So I'll hit start, 
and 15 minutes later, it'll print out. In just a second, we'll be back so you can see the results. Now that the test is done, you can take out the cartridge. You want to dispose of this so you don't get it mixed up with anything else, and you can read the results. The results are printed on the screen, and it also can be printed out on a sheet, which I also absolutely love. You can then take this sheet, and you will compare it against the progesterone timing chart to see where your dog falls. And that's how you run a progesterone test with the Wound Faux Fine Care.